Hello guys. From this video onwards, we are going to learn the subject that is compiler design. We are going to learn the topics related to compiler design, and we will we are going to try to understand all the concepts so that we can understand what compiler design actually is and why it is used. Okay, before understanding anything, we should know that why we are trying to understand that why it is important or why it is useful. Correct. So. to start with compiler design let me tell you about high level language and low level language as we know whenever we are coding we are uh, coding or giving some instruction to the computer we the humans are using something called as high level language what is high level language any language that is executable or that is understandable and readable by the users or by the coders or programmers like us like human beings they are known as high level language this this is not any particular language it may be any language like english hindi anything that is understandable by humans so those language are known as high level language the language that we write the program in like it is consisting of a language in which we are writing words sentences or the structure that we can understand but the problem is computer any machine or system or computers they are not able to understand this high level language directly they are able to execute or understand a language that is known as low level language low level language means you can take the example as assembly code or something like as we know computers are understanding binary language 0101 like that so high level language is something that we humans can read and understand but this uh, this language is not directly understandable by the uh, machines machines are understanding something known as low level language so we want some mechanism that can convert this high level language into the low level language so that we can write in high level language and the computers can understand that and execute that accordingly so in this case to convert this high level language into the low level language compiler design comes into the picture compiler design is something that helps us to convert this high level language into the low level language uh, but actually it is not only the compiler that does this task we are having various steps we have to go through these steps and all these steps take place before um, after we are writing the program and before the computer can understand that thing okay so let's see the steps you will be able to get a clear idea as we proceed So first of all, we are having high-level language. As I have already told you, what high-level language is? Any language in which the user or we humans are writing the program, it is known as high-level language. Now, then preprocessor comes into the picture. As the name itself indicates, preprocessor means anything that is required before processing. Preprocessing. Okay. So what preprocessor does it converts this high level language into something that is known as pure high level language then obviously the next question is what will be the difference between high level language and pure level language yes i'm telling you um high level language as i have told you what high level language is but the main difference between high level language and pure high level language is um if you are aware about c language you know that every c language we are starting with we, we are starting it with something known as hash include then whatever std dot h conio dot h uh, hash define all right in c language these are some of the steps or lines that we are writing initially so in high level language these things will be present normally when we are writing the code these things are present in the very first step so it is high level language that is the raw code that we are writing that is the high level language but what preprocessor does it executes this sentences it understands the meaning that what these sentences wants to do it does them with the behalf of that and then removes these lines to give you a clear idea for example we have written that hash include something sdi dot n uh, dot h or any specific header files what do you mean by sdi dot h it is nothing but whenever we are writing dot h it is nothing but header file the files that will be required by this whole code to be executed so what this 
preprocessor will do it will understand that whenever we are writing hash include something dot h that means it will understand that this is this is nothing but file inclusion so what this preprocessor it will do it will include this particular header file for us correct then we are having hash define hash define means it is macro expansion means basically uh, how hash define is used for example if i am writing hash define size 50 this means what it globally defines this size with the size 50 with length 50 means whenever in the program i will be writing this size it will take the value 50 so the benefit of doing this is in the program if i am writing size 50 times for example so all those times it will directly write 50 for example um, as you know in in the real time project or any company we are coding for in case initially they are telling that the value of size would be 10 we are keeping 10 but after two months three months if they tell that okay uh, but our requirement has changed so now the size is 100 so in that case instead of changing the size 50 times you can change directly here in the preprocessor area and it will be directly changed in the whole code wherever this size is defined so this is the main advantage of doing so however this preprocessor comes into the picture like that that whenever we have written hash include it will understand that it is nothing but file inclusion whenever we have written hash define it will understand that it is nothing but macro expansion and it will do the things as required so after including these files after assigning these values preprocessor will do these things automatically and then after doing these things we will get something that is known as pure high level language in basically uh, in a difference you can say that in pure high level language hash define hash include all these things will be removed okay hashtags will be removed that is uh, these are nothing but these are known as preprocessor directives so these will be in, uh, removed in this pure high level language now once we get the pure high level language it will go to the compiler what compiler will do is it will convert this pure high level language into something that is known as assembly code this assembly code you can say that uh, you can consider it as intermediate code means it would not be exactly like high level language or english language or something and it would neither be the executable binary executable language or something like that it will be something intermediate or uh, mixture of high level language and low level language so this is what called assembly code now this assembly code will go into assembler assembler will convert this assembly code to machine code and then we are having linker loader this linker loader will take this machine code and it will give executable code at last this linker loader will finally give the executable code that will be easily executed by the machines or computers so basically in this subject of compiler design we are main concerned about this compiler this is the whole phase that i have told you to convert high level language into low level language or executable code but among all these steps we are interested in this area that is compiler so i will be making next videos which will cover all the steps how this compiler exactly works like this is the whole step but inside compiler if we go through it thoroughly there are many interesting topics we will be able to understand that how this compiler works what exactly it does how it does the different phases in which compiler works so we will be seeing all those things okay so this is the whole phase before going into the compiler you should be able to understand that what are the things or what are the steps which comes into the picture while converting the high level language into low level language so i hope you are getting this whole idea so above into this big picture now we are taking one this small step compiler and we will go through it properly step by step okay thank you so much